Welcome back. Today we're going to configure BGP and route reflection in this topology. And as we can see, we have the AS111 here. And um, first of all, let's take a look at the setup. Uh, we have the R2 acting as route reflector with the Lubeck IP already set. And uh, on the right hand side, we have the first route reflector client that is R3. And R3 and R2 are connected on directly connected interface and the prefix is 1013.0/24. And on the left side we have the second route reflector client and that is R4 connected over the di directly connected prefix of 1014.0/24. So the underlying topology and IGP is already configured as OSPF. Why need for route reflectors? Because of the IBGP split horizon rule that says that when a BGP speaker receives an update from IBGP speaker, it will not advertise that update to another IBGP speaker. For that reason, the IBGP speakers in an AS to exchange routes must be fully meshed, means that each peer must have a peering with every other peer within the AS. In a large network, this mesh can be complex, therefore we can use route reflectors. When a route reflector is configured, the route reflector will have peer session with each client. The client must establish peer with the route reflector only. The route reflectors we reflect the routes learned from one client to another. So by default route reflectors are not in the path of data plane. So let's uh, jump on to the CLI and take a look at the configuration. Let's start with the um, RR that is R2. Um, first of all, take a look at the underlying IGP. We see that we have adjacency with R3 and 4, these are the route reflector clients today for uh, this topology. So we see that we have learned the loopback IP addresses from um, both clients via the adjacencies um, directly connected interfaces. And we have the neighborship with uh, R3 and R4 and we've learning the loopback IP addresses of R3 and R4 via our IGB OSPF. Let's start the BGP config on the route reflectors first. So that is uh, our um, router here on R2. And we're going to start the BGP config for the route reflector here. So let's start the process. We using a BGP process of uh, 111 here. And first of all, we're going to configure a IBGP peer, peer session with um, the route reflector client that is R3. We're going to set the update source as loopback zero. And finally, we're going to configure that as route reflector client. So R3 is our route reflector client. And next we're going to configure the peering with the other client that is R4 using the loopback IP address, set the loopback as update source and set it as the route reflector client. So we're going to advertise the loopback IP address um, into the BGP just for the verification purpose. So in this case, we're going to advertise loopback IPs of 2.2.2.2/32. Quickly take a look at the config to ensure that there's no typo. So just going to recap that. So here we see that we have the routing process and uh, which is uh, 111 and next we advertise the loopback IP address of the route reflector in the in the BGP then we have the remote AS111 that means it's um, IBGP peering update source is loopback 0 and we are saying that R3 is our client. Similarly, on towards R4, we have the remote AS111 update source as loopback zero and it is set as client. Now 
Next, we're going to start our config on the route reflector client. So first of all, we're going to look at R3. Let's uh, take a look on the topology and we see that the R3 is on the right hand side and we're going to start config on R3 for uh, BGP route reflector client. So let's uh, move on to R3 and start our config and here we're going to again go into the config mode and create the routing process that is BGP 111. We're going to set a pair with route reflector which is R2, set it as a route reflector client, advertise the network and that is the loopback IP address of R3. And that's all. So just to recap the BGP um, config, straightforward we have the network advertise which is the loopback IP address and we've set the peering with route reflector that is 2.2.2.2 using the loopback IP address as update source. Next uh, quickly take a look at uh, the BGP peering. So we have uh, peering with the route reflector now op and that is saying that the neighbor 2.2.2 we have BGP pairing and that shows that we're receiving uh, two prefixes where that. Next we're going to go on to the R4 that is our second route reflector client and we're going to start the BGP config there. Um, similarly we're going to go into the routing process and uh, that is 111 set the neighbor as a route reflector and that is 2.2.2.2 within the same AS set the upload source to loopback 0 and advertise the network 4.4.4.4 and slash 32 into the BGP and that will come in handy when we do the verification later for the route reflector clients so we see that we have the peering up with the route reflector here from the client and that is R4 in this case and we are receiving some prefixes as well through that. So that's been done. Let's uh, move up to the R2 and take a look at the um, verification process there just to verify how route reflector is working. So we're going to take a look at the BGP summary we see that we have pairing with the both uh, clients that is r3 and r4 and we're receiving one prefix from each as we know that we've advertised the loopback ip addresses respectively in the route reflector clients next let's verify the um, prefix that we have received from our route reflector client that is R3 and that is the loopback IP address of R3 which is 3.3.3.3 and by using show IP BGP prefix slash 32 we can now see that uh, basically it's the only uh, prefix and therefore it's uh, best anyway so let next we see that uh, it is received from the uh, client that is the loopback IP address of the client but the most important thing here we see that it says re received from RR client and that shows that the R3 is a client of this RR so let's uh, take a look at uh, the route received from R4 next which is the loopback IP address of R4 so that's we're going to take a look at a show IP BGP 4.4.4.4 slash 32 and similarly with all the BGP attributes we see here that it is received from a client thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and I will look forward to see you on this channel in the upcoming videos